let's start another series about my finished pictures and coloring books in my collection and this time I will show you one of my favorite books books by Kanoka Yuguza I have just two of them both in Japanese edition where I absolutely love paper where it's possible to work with watercolors and with pencils my favorite medium is Prismacolor pencils so that's what I mostly use here in these books I even did title pages which is not a very frequent thing for me usually I have a bad habit to test mediums media on the title pages so my title pages either are unfinished or either are totally messed up but here I am quite happy with this dress I think that it looks quite delicate and nice in Rhapsody in the forest I have smaller amount of finished pictures but still many of them I love I just need to find them this one I did this August for my birthday I think that it's nice even if I didn't have enough fantasy for the background so in the end I simply added a very light pencil background behind the dress and nothing more maybe it's not very interesting but at least such background doesn't distract attention from the beautiful birthday cake and I made it as a chocolate cake my favorite variety then I tried to use this blue color to attract attention to the um, mice to the cooks and then it was interesting to color leaves even if I am not completely happy with the color of the cherry leaves maybe they are not dark enough for real cherry leaves but still I think that it's not bad okay let's move forward here on the right side I tested a very light colors of white nights watercolors for the background i wanted to do sand and i decided that with ochre watercolor it will be a perfect thing to do such a light background i enjoyed coloring it all those corals i do love to color shells everything is done with prisma colors i think that you can clearly see salmon pink clay rose great lavender here on, on the shelves shells the left side is more interesting i remember that i did it for coloring contest dedicated to the uh, time of the uh, great discoveries so here i have three ships of cristobal cologne sorry guys never <laughs> difficult to remember how he pronounced in english so i hope that you you got it and of course some of the elements here are not exactly for, th for that time for example those glasses and even the lighthouse but I think that still you can you can relate to the, to the time of the great discoveries I really love how Kanoko Yaguza does all her animals and birds so even the smaller one like this this one or this one it was quite nice to color them i wanted so much to do this spread during this october but unfortunately never have time maybe next year perfect perfect autumn picture with pumpkins the only thing i don't know why Kanoka Yaguza inserted here this uh, flowers would definitely look like spring crocuses everything else is quite nice well here I have a page which is not very successful background somehow I decided to use here for the background watercolor but not the normal one regular one but granulating which creates some stains but on this page it wasn't the right choice it created some dirt on the background i tried to save it by all those bright leaves but still the background isn't very good here 
here I practiced some shading. I think that one day I will color it. Here I have probably two years ago, or maybe even three years ago project. Anyway, I always loved this <laughs> plant near my previous house where I lived previously. We had several such plants and during the whole fall season they really are very colorful, very festive looking. So I had quite a good feelings towards this plant. And it was relatively easy to color owls because Kanoka Yakuza she always does very helpful texture on the fur, on the feathers, showing us the size of the and direction of the growth of the feathers on each of the uh, parts of the owl's body. So you can te teach yourself and then it will be easier for you to color next time when you have just a line art board about feathers near the, around the beak, how grow feathers around the eyes, here longer feathers on the sides of the head, so it was quite helpful. So even if again I had to do the background with pencils, I think that this color combo of rich blue and orange, it's always look good. The next one is this Christmas spread. I think that I repeated many times already that this reindeer was one of my first good attempts to color animals. Even if the texture of the fur isn't very visible, everything you can see is texture made by Kanoka. But anyway, at least I did some shading. I combined brown and gray for the fur. And then I tried to do some Scandinavian design on the background in very limited colors. On the right side I did a Victorian Christmas. I think that I watched some kind of historical movie and there were mentioned that during Victorian time um, fabric colored in such uh, lilac or intense mauve color it was very precious and rare because paint it was quite uh, it costed a lot to color ever anything with such paint so it was rare and it was quite popular because of it on the higher circles so that's why i was inspired to do such unusual christmas not with traditional red bows or golden bows and here i have my victorian christmas most of all here I love the ornament on the wallpaper. Again, it's Prismacolor pencils, but I tried to do very careful shading, very delicate here. So I am quite proud of it. And next I have this huge spread. I think that I did it last year and I didn't manage to finish it in time for Christmas, so I finished it in January because it was a lot of work. Some of the parts were simply confusing with all those uh, floating circles or light halos throughout the whole page. In some of the areas I tried to mask them, somewhere I tried to turn them into light halos where I had sources of light, somewhere I simply tried to mask them. Anyway, it was nice, even if I struggled with the background to cover it uh, smooth and nice. But I enjoyed doing all the reflections of the warm light coming from the windows on the church building, on the snow around. And of course, the dogs, they are absolutely adorable. I love Corgi. Not sure, I think, ah, yes, yeah, I have another one, a very old page, one of my um, very early Easter pictures, but still nice. I remember that it was time when I still learned color combos of Prisma colors, and I was so happy that they have such a nice pastel colors, all those pastel blue, pastel lilac, pastel pink, lavender very helpful for Easter pictures. 
The next one is Manoet, where I have bigger amount of finished pictures and which is definitely in my top list of favorite coloring books. Again, I did title page here. And then this spring spread. It's this year work. I a little bit more love anything on the right side. Here the bunny maybe not my best work on the body. I am not very happy with the fur. But here I enjoyed coloring all the ducklings and mother and father ducks. It's a little bit uncomfortable to color near the binding, but the whole spread still looks quite nice and impressive with all those spring colors, spring flowers. You can see that I have many finished spreads here. This one I did a couple of years ago, again for my birthday coloring. And I do love this idea that one of the bunnies looks like father and the rest look like mother. I think that they are quite cute. And of course I enjoyed a lot coloring various flowers which Kanoka put here. Even the background I did with Prismacolor pencils, so here I don't mind on such a good paper. And that's one of my favorite finished pictures, mostly because I risked to use quite unusual color here for the wallpaper in the children's room. I wouldn't expect such color combo from myself, but now I like it. And I decided to repeat the same trick, so one of the kittens look like mother and two remaining kittens like father. I remember that it was interesting to color shadows on the white line and on the father's shirt. So, a lot of interesting things here. I was afraid that the grandmother cat would be slightly lost because of the dark colors of the background. So I added this, this extremely bright knitted scarf probably. Next we have this spring page. Again everything colored with Prisma color, even the background here for the first time I did this very light background using Prisma color pencils and I realized that on this paper they blend perfectly, pencil strokes are invisible, so I don't mind to use pencils here for the background. One of my favorite works I've ever finished this fruit and flower markets. I think that I show it quite frequently so I won't be I won't be talking a lot about it but still I enjoyed coloring various textures like wood like steel here. I struggled a lot with the balloons but they are far from perfect but at least I realized some principles how to color them, how to show that they are um, transparent that they, uh, you can see one balloon through the other. It was challenging but it was fun in the same time. And of course all those fruits, vegetables and various animals. A very good spread so I definitely recommend you to color it. It's a slow work but full of nice surprises and you never get bored because you color various objects. Next, it's my recent work. I think that I did it last month because I wanted my bunnies to be well stocked for the winter and now I think that they are very well prepared even for the long winter. They have a lot of things stored, many canned things, a lot of other supplies. I think that I did the right choice when I selected red for her dress. I was a little bit afraid that on such colorful background she would be completely lost. So that's why I decided to use, to use such a rich color. So now on the foreground she looks quite nice. I love pictures where you can color some cozy scenes and also where you can work on them 
highlights on the light reflections from various sources of the light. So that's another page which I did, I think, this year. It's difficult to remember sometimes. I color so many pictures each month that... But what I remember is that I enjoyed doing it and it, it probably is the most important thing. Many of pictures here, they look challenging, but still I always enjoy coloring the designs. Here it was my first and probably last attempt to use polychromous pencils in this book. I was thinking that maybe here they can be quite helpful, but I was very unimpressed how in Japanese edition polychromos behave, so I did this. Um, Palace and I decided to switch back to Prisma colors, so the lamp and all the animals they are made with my traditional Prisma color pencils. This page is extremely shiny. I used the fact that it has black background, so I used my color of fine tech, metal and perlescent watercolors, so everything looks very festive. I still love to look at it. It's one of my very old works. I also participated in coloring contest and we had to color pictures dedicated to holidays. So I think that here we have perfect picture of holidays. I do love the Mr. Frog, but she is also quite nice and elegant. I think that it was one of my first projects when I opened my Patreon. Some of the birds and animals are good. I love how I did poem granites. I do love cardinal birds. Usually I struggle with them, but here I love it. Not so happy with, with the owls, but I needed to practice more. Another one of the fall spreads. I am extremely happy with the right side. Again, old work, one of my first on Patreons, on Patreon, but I still enjoy it. I think that fur on the foxes is quite nice and color combos for the leaves was quite interesting to invent. The left side was mix of Prisma colors and even Derwent color sorts. Maybe as this stars is what I don't like now, but it's in Halloween style, so the lower part of the background I do love. And cats, they are um, cat and probably Guinea pig, I don't know. So the stars, they far from perfect, but still the rest, it's not bad. Here I have a very easy page with birds. I enjoy doing their bright feathers to surround them, uh, more pastel colors of flowers and a very simple frame as a background. This one I did last December a year ago, so I imagined that cat here is doing some uh, Christmas window shopping, so she enjoy or maybe she does some Christmas planning for presents. I deliberately made her with very intense colors, because everything on the background is colorful, so I needed something to attract attention to the lady cat. I added falling snow with the white acrylic, so I think that it's not bad. Another old work, and here, um, I don't know, maybe I had to work more on this blue background in several areas it's not very accurate but the color palette is quite wintry i do love when we have a lot of cold colors and several bright elements they always helps to get this christmas atmosphere of christmas ornaments or winter days with some bright spots next we have those shopping galleries and I was inspired by the galleries in Italy, in Milan. So that's where I tried to calculate how light is coming through the uh, glass dome, how it will be going through the 
through the window to the walls, to the floor. And animals here, they are also quite nice and elegant. Here I tried to imagine shoes made from various fabric, from a leather, some maybe a velvet with silk ornaments, so it was quite fun trying to show it on the picture. One of my favorite works is this cat near the mirror, and of course I am proud how I managed to do the uh, old gold or maybe old bronze frame, and to show that it's actually a reflection in the glass. Next I have this spread, the right side is older, and this one I did this summer. Here I was heavily impressed by the beautiful tutorial by Shirley XLY. Uh, I hope that Shirley one day will return to us with her beautiful videos, and here I used her idea of adding additional flowers. I added flowers here. A little bit more of them inside of the mirror, so I am quite happy how it turned out. Here it was a pleasure to color all the uh, various clothes inside and outside. I'm not so happy with the variety of her evening dresses. I think that she tried to change from her everyday clothes into something more festive, but I'm not sure about this. A very bright pink which I selected, but at least it created some contrast. I had many attempts in studying how to color bunnies full, because bunnies they can be grey, they can be grey and brown, so here I tried to do both varieties, but most of all here I am proud of my wooden frame here. It looks quite, quite realistic, I would say. This was, one was nice, even if I struggled a lot with the map on the globe. In the end I decided that it's okay if I won't be doing all the mountains and plains exactly like they are in real life, so I just made a hint to the mountains here and there and decided that oh, it's okay. And here the, <laughs> it was quite interesting that I discovered this traditional Japanese bird, which is quite famous for its singing during the spring time, so it's a sign uh, for the lovers, because, you know, spring and beautiful singing on the bird. It was nice to read something new, to learn something new about Japanese culture. I really love all this Asian style pictures here, but unfortunately I haven't colored a lot of them because they are very detailed. I remember that this coloring also was one of the longest because we have huge mix of various elements. Some of them was easy to color, like main characters here with the cat or deer or frog, but then I started to struggle when we have dragonflies in the same size as uh, uh, as the birds, then all those patterns around. Well, it wasn't easy to calculate all the colors, so I remember that I was overwhelmed when I finished it, but the result is not bad. You know that I love Alice in Wonderland, so of course I had to color picture connected to this story. The background isn't perfect, I wanted to do something resembling mirror, but I can't say that this glass wall actually looks like mirror, it doesn't have reflections, so it's a problem. And here I have this simple but cute page with animals. Yeah, and a couple of smaller pictures. It was the first time when I colored on different type of paper and where I discovered that to color on the toned paper actually it's quite fun. Well, let's move forward. And the next one will be quite similar book in style. This one is called The Day We Finally Met. It has huge amount of adorable pictures. One of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. 
but somehow I did only one page here. I definitely need to look more at this book because all the pictures are great. So I did this one full page. Here I have mix of prisma colors for the grass, for the main objects, for the trees and polychromoses. I think that I used them here on the leaves. It was challenging because it has a lot of details, but still the line art is beautiful and all pictures here are perfect. The, I somewhere have one small finished picture. I just need to find it here. I think that it's quite nice looking. And here I used my Mitsubishi Uno Japanese pencils. They are totally not suitable for this smooth paper, so working with pencils was challenging, but colors, I think that they are not bad. This one is very famous and each Christmas time I think that maybe I need to do this one and I am still afraid. It's so beautiful that I am not sure if I am ready enough to do something such beautiful. Maybe I need to start from something less frightening like this page. The problem here is that I am not happy how watercolor behave here. I have one page where I started to use watercolors and the result was almost disastrous. I wasn't happy how they worked on this paper. They didn't blend very well. There were some spots started to uh, reappear here on the sky. Or maybe my problem was that, you know, I, I remember that I applied probably too intense color for the hills, for the water, and when I decided that uh, maybe I need to delete part of the excessive watercolor pigment, I discovered that even just after a couple of seconds it was already absorbed into paper, so it wasn't possible to wash away excessive pigment with clear brush and clear wash. So I felt slightly disappointed and I decided that no more watercolor experiments in this book. Next I will show you my Dennis Klett books. I have all three of them. Oh, it's quite interesting how will be the next one, which is promised to be published next year and dedicated to various animals, especially bears and birds. So it will be interesting. But let's have a look here. For a long time I struggled a lot with these pictures. My biggest problem was how to do background, especially in the book with fairies, where we have a relatively small image and huge empty background. I don't like to have empty, empty white backgrounds. And in the same time, I didn't know how to color them. Paper here doesn't work very well with big areas of watercolor. Or here it was my failed attempt to do background with uh, uh, with intense pencils, yeah. Here I had intense and I didn't like how they behaved. So, my first attempt here, it was with soft pastel background. I got the book, I realized that I actually love the artist style, but the hell if I know what to do with the background. Soft pastel isn't my favorite way to do the background and Sometimes I wanted more intense color, more opaque coverage, and watercolors simply didn't work. They bleed through, they created not very attractive stains, and I colored mostly pictures where I didn't have to think about the background, like this one. I experimented here with um, color blend and aqua blend pencils. Now they are not very popular, but I have those sets, so I wanted to test them. Not perfect for this paper, but at least they have interesting varieties of greens, so that's why I decided to use them. And only when I got nice sets of gouache paints and semi-opaque watercolors, I started to do backgrounds in much better way. Here I have the background 
did with watercolor, but it's not transparent, but more opaque watercolor. Color is mint. And I think that it actually looks quite nice. For the lilies, I used budget pencils, Star Joy. I just got them, so I was eager to test them. They have nice shades of yellow and orange. So here I was pretty happy how they behaved. And I think that I love this spread. I am really grateful for the discovery that gouache paints or acrylic paints, they can be used for this paper. But still I struggle a lot with the background and sometimes I still mess up the background. Here I was happy with my blue acrylic background with the uh, delicate color of flowers, with these bright birds and even with the fairy and bunny. But then I somehow decided that this corner is very empty and why wouldn't I sprinkle a little bit of bronze metallic watercolor and it created very unattractive stains. So I used too much water, so instead of delicate dots like I have here, <laughs> I have ugly stains. I tried to delete it, but it was a little bit disappointing. It was the last step in my long coloring. But as usual, I say that we have so many similar pictures here, so just forget about this not very successful experience and move to the next page, which will be quite similar. Here again I used uh, those pastel watercolors from White Nights and because of the white pigment they are semi-opaque and they lay better on this paper. They, they have better coverage. I deliberately tried to use brighter colors for the objects and less intense color for the background and I think that it's one of my few pink backgrounds. I'm not a huge fan of Barbie pink but here it looks quite nice. Here, one of my favorite finished pictures where I used a lot of gouache paints. I used Arteza gouache and they have good color palettes. So I did this color gradient from very intense rich violet through magenta to more um, muted purple, lilac and then to peach and yellow. I managed to do quite smooth gradient from dark to light colors and brush strokes, they are almost invisible. They are added several lighter circles to attract more attention to the fairy and I think that it's probably my best work in this book. At least now I have a way and I know which medium to use for this book. Next I have mermaids and in this book I also struggled with of watercolor backgrounds. I remember my big struggle last December when I decided to do this page. I started with watercolor on the eyes, on the sky. I was extremely unhappy. Then I tried to add neo colors. I tried to add acrylic paint. So I had many layers here. I filmed it and it was it was a struggle indeed, but now I think that I'm pretty happy how everything looks. I think that walrus, they are absolutely adorable here, so of course I would like to look at the book dedicated mostly to the animals created by Dennis Klett. So let's wait for the new book. If you use more rich and intense watercolor, it's possible to use them in this book. At least I managed to use them for the ocean water here and for the uh, bigger part of the background, for the chest with all those jewelry and gold. So I do love my pirate mermaid. This one I turned into a Christ uh, Christmas picture I added from myself. Uh, some of the um, tiny balls here to make the garland here more festive and I added this green garland around the stones to make the whole picture even more festive. Most of all here I love their tails. 
I also added a little bit of glitter gel pen so in real life they are also glossy. The next one made completely with pencils and I tried to do some kind of bucket background. Not perfect because of the slightly smooth paper maybe I had to use another brand of pencils but in the end because of the adorable wooden figures here their faces I still think that picture is good this one definitely was a good one I again used dark colors of the watercolor for the background and I simply love this color combo of rich violet blue green on the leaves lighter violet on the flowers and then this yellow accents maybe birds are slightly too colorful for this page but flowers and leaves are definitely okay the next one i did with neo color crayons on the background so the water underwater background everything made with nail colors they also can be used on this paper and i do love my quite quite cheerful mermaid and her companions especially this one quite cozy here i tried to do a waterfall background it's old work I think that I mostly use Prisma colors, probably, yeah. And I didn't know how to do the waterfall, so I experimented. Maybe it doesn't look like a waterfall, but it looks like not very boring background. That's where I discovered that I actually don't like how watercolor behave on this uh, paper. I started to do this gradient. I wanted to do it from um, red. Or intense pink via orange to a warm yellow and it wasn't very good painted absorbed into paper too quickly and they didn't want to blend but the rest is good it was my first attempt to do fantasy style skin and I do love their tails and birds of course Here I mostly love the mermaid herself, she is very pretty, very adorable and she is reading. I do love how cozy she is inside of the shell, a lot of books, so I think that she is quite comfortable and many friends around. Here I have my ugly first and last attempt to use oil pastel not soft but oil pastel for the background and some kind of solvent and as i said it was first and last never again this one i did with intense pencils for some of the uh, seaweeds and then prisma color and even some glittery gel pens on, the, on her tail most of all here i love octopus and finally we have my favorite among the three books and its gnomes. Here I have biggest amount of finished pictures. Let's start from this one. This one is called Spring in the gnome neighborhood, so I added a lot of tiny pink flowers around the bigger one to create atmosphere you know when everything is in bloom and we have a lot of flying petals from the flowers so that's why i decided that i want more more flowers mostly i use arteza on this paper i think that arteza blend nicely on this paper they are able to keep a relatively thin tip when i need to color smaller details so good balance between softness and thin tip and also they have bright rich colors exactly what I need for my gnomes the next one probably is my favorite because I did it when the last year we all started the world around lockdown everyone was sitting at their own home their own flat so I decided to dedicate a page to such situation and I have my gnomes at lockdown here I have friends 
so he has the French rooster. I try to add uh, sunflowers and lavender as traditional flowers and also he has baguette or wine of course so he is quite nicely prepared. Here I have German gnome and of course he is well equipped with beer. Here I have Italy, beautiful lady, I think that she definitely looks like beautiful Italian lady and she has her soccer or football ball. Unfortunately for other countries there were no place, so here we only have Great Britain and I hope that you can see this bird in the crown. It was fun to do and really it helped me to relax and to adjust to the first day of this strange situation. Here I did this very quick background with various shades of watercolor and then I used uh, neo colors probably for the background and, and then some artists again. I don't know, it's I simply wanted to color something, but I wasn't in very creative mood. For well, the next one I did with Dervant Color Soft and I was too absorbed into those unusual color of the leaves. I was proud of my fantasy trees, so I didn't pay a lot of attention to the uh, shops, to the houses. They were too colorful, so my lady gnome who went to make some shopping, she is slightly lost. She is so small that so definitely you need to pay more attention to the gnomes, how to attract more attention to such a small, small creatures. Next we have series of winter pictures. Here I do love to use watercolor and these watercolors, they all again are semi-opaque, they have white pigment, so they cover paper nicely starting from the sky to the various shades of pastel blue, lavender blue colors for the shadows on the snow, for the snowman. Here we have two beautiful snow women and Scandinavian style uh, girls. Another one where I decided to do crazy night background it's dark blue watercolor covered by a huge amount of perishant and metal watercolor. That was my first page which I did after I purchased Arteza pencils and that's where I discovered that it's possible to work with them on this paper. I don't know, nothing special, but still, you know that I love figure skating, so of course I had to color page with figure skating gnomes. Here I was thinking about some unusual colors that you don't always have to do blue background even for winter and Christmas pictures, so that's why here I have neo color background and then again some sparkly watercolor on top of it. Here I'm working now. And next we have two pictures which I did this um, summer. To celebrate my own holidays, even if I didn't have them in similar entourage, but still I was so happy to go, finally go to holidays and said I did several of holidays colored pictures. So here my gnomes are enjoying beach holidays. And another one similar, of course it was interesting to color the wooden sculpture. Again, a lot of Arteza, some paint for the sky and for the... I think that here I even did the background with pencils, but here I definitely used acrylic paint for the sky. Yeah, and probably that's all for my Dennis clad books. They are very positive, so sometimes when I feel that I need to color something not very busy, so something relaxing. I do love these books, but as I said, sometimes paper is challenging. 
Oh no, I think that I had another one. Oh yes, I remember. Here again I experimented with media and somehow I was thinking that I will try to use uh, Derwent Graphitin water soluble pencils. Of course they didn't work quite well for the walls so I had to mask them with layers and layers of pencils. So I was slightly disappointed and I didn't know how what what to do with this area. I usually don't write my name and probably it's that's because of it it looks empty but anyway i am glad that at least one of the title pages i try to do even if it's far from my best works well thanks for watching and you know that ahead of me i have a huge pile of books which i still want to show you so i will see you in the next series